What is going on, Grade A Army? Guys, it's so hot in here. It's freaking July whatever. It's melting. It's like 90 plus degrees outside, even when it's dark. And you know what? We're going to crack open a Hidden Fates pack, and we're going to crack open some of this blister style stuff to distract my mind from it. So excuse if I'm like losing pounds as we are doing this opening. Um, we're going to be doing the Hidden Fates in a minute. We're going to start off with the blisters. Right off the bat, I do want to announce something. I was a stressed out, anxious fool a couple days ago. I, uh... <laughs> I came home and I said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to open up this Hidden Fates Walmart box that I had sitting around and I was probably about to sell. I was like, screw it, I'm going to open it. So I opened it and guess what was in pack one? That's right, we pulled the Hidden Fates Shiny Charizard. We pulled it. Problem is, I didn't do it on camera, so that sucks. But, on the bright side, it's already on its way to Beckon, probably coming back by the time that this is done, because I paid for two-day shipping, two-day grading. So, that's going to come back soon. I'm going to get to show it off. Hopefully, at least gets a nine, and uh, I'll definitely, you know, show off some pictures and everything, too. Go check out my Instagram if you want to see it. It's beautiful. But right off the bat, we're going to crack open some Guardians Rising. Let's see if we can't get anything fire from these packs. I am also just adding to my bulk pile. Um, I may show it off in a minute in my disgustingly unorganized corner over there. Lolan Vulpix, Beldum, Pet Lil, Fletch Ling, and a Lolan Geodude who needs a haircut like moi, quarantine style. Caravana with some dope art. Ooh, and a hollow Mimikyu. Still such a creepy Pokemon. Altar of this. Can we talk about how sun and moon are spelt there? I know it's supposed to be like ancient style, but Altar of the Sun or Sunne. Altar of the Mune. <laughs> Show me the Mune. Glyscore. And a code card for y'all. If you don't get that joke, I apologize. I, yes, I am a horrible disgrace to the humankind. All right, next up, we got some Celestial Stuff. Storm. We have a Gulpin, which I'm fairly sure the artwork's been used in other sets. A Wisma, running away from a Beware. Shup it with a pretty dope artwork. Sneasel, showing off its claws. We got a, what even is that? Fabric Wisma. Life Herb. And a non hollow Registeel. Man, look at those creepy hands. Shoot, if that was coming after you, I would lose my shiz. Except it wouldn't be shiz, it would be legit and uncensored crap okay next up we have another celestial storm pack how's everyone's week going i uh i do want to apologize also for how out of it i've been i've uh, had some health issues the last few days so if you know or if you've noticed on my instagram i only post once a day i'll get back to two a day and we're going to have some more giveaways i promise alolan ratata voltorb Ooh, beautiful trico art a little crayola style in there we got a gulpin reverse hollow regirock hey right on and a blaziken full art fun fact this is one of my favorite pokemon ever can you guess why? I spent so much time playing Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It looks like it's a little off-center, top to bottom, but right on. That is a nice pull. I didn't see that coming. Usually you see something sticking on the edge. Um, hold on, let me find a sleeve. My son got into my little studio corner here, and he got into the sleeves. And in what can only be described as throwing confetti, he threw confetti everywhere. So my sleeves are currently all over the floor, waiting for a game of pick-me-up. Remember, having children is fun. It really is. Code card. Wait, I didn't even finish that pack. We got the code. Dark Energy. TV Reporter. 
done sparse. Nice art. This is actually an Arita artwork. I believe this is from EX Sandstorm originally. I uh, was planning on getting the EX Sandstorm one signed by Arita, but guess what happened? Pandemic, world, death. Um, I shouldn't joke about that, and I wasn't really joking. We actually had a, a friend in his late 20s pass away, so take the virus seriously. Wear a mask. It's just a mask. I know it's annoying and restraining. Kind of like wearing a seatbelt in the car, but you know, like... Trust me, it, it does a small part to help. At least slow the spread. And we need more of that. Alright, blister number two, then we are going to crack open that Hidden Fates pack. We are going to pull some... Ah! Whoa! <laughs> well... The recap of what just happened is all of those packs went sky high, like the 4th of July, and I I have to figure out which of these packs are sealed and which of them aren't. Ah, found the third one. They uh, legitimately exploded in a beautiful firework fashion. I mean... It's kind of cool. And, uh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm alive. What year is it? Ah. Yes, I sneeze like ten times in a row. That's something else really weird about me, if y'all want to know more. Another thing is I do not like eating oranges, but I love orange juice, and I actually love to scuba dive. Yes, I've swam with sharks. I have touched a turtle, I was almost stabbed, well, stabbed by a stingray, and uh, I've been within probably five feet of a water snake. Good stories. And the coin's gone. Y'all care to see that? Let me just show the first one again. Ooh, look, it's a new coin and no one will ever know. But uh, yeah, I got some fun stories. I've probably been on 50 to 60 dives. It's uh, something I haven't done in a while because since moving to Utah, as many of you know, there is no fresh water around here large enough to dive and ooh, I see something. I can always go to the Great Salt Lake, but as the name suggests, it's literally just a giant sweat pool full of salt. Voltorb, Trico, Utah's nice and all. Reverse Volby, but it's not good for diving. And, Hey, a Stack Attack of GX. That is not bad at all. I'll take that. Check out that hollow. I love the uh, the GX hollows. Don't get me wrong. The new V-card hollows are nice. But the GX hollows where it's kind of like, you know, warpy. Do you see that right there? Like warpy? I love that. Let me say that one more time to make you all uncomfortable. Warpy. Alright, Lightning Energy. Marsh Stomp. Soul, Rock, Dawn, Fan, and a code card for y'all. Get them, grab them, pull your own crap. It's all from uh, Brandon Claus. Sounds more like a mass murderer than a holiday figure. Alright, we got Pancham, and yes, it's hot in here. Litwick, Petret, Alolan Geodude. Glygar, Reverse Hollow Gliscor, hey, and then the Lolan Ninetales GX. We are two for two out of this blister. Maybe exploding at sky high was our good luck. Right on. We should try that with our next pack. Just chuck it against the wall before we open it. If we do that with our Hidden Fates pack, I bet we pull a Charizard. Um, fun fact, I also went out and bought another Charizard. <laughs> Um, which has much better centering than the one I pulled, which means I am going for, yes, at least a gold 10 through Beckett's standards. I'd love to get a shiny Charmander Charizard, Char Charmander Charmeleon Charizard, one, two, three in a row, shiny gold 10s. If one of them gets a black label, I'm going to be pissed off because it ruins everything. Just kidding. If I get a black label Charizard, it's worth like 10 grand. I mean, can we talk about that? It's worth 10 grand. Also, Hidden Fates is getting a new reprint. So, 
Call your wives, call your kids, call your dog because there's a chance to get more. Also, get on the hype now. If you want to keep sealed, buy some now. If you want to open, buy some now because I guarantee come this time next year, you know, booster box, booster boxes, uh, packs are going to be like $15 pop minimum. It's going to be pricey. Probably closer to 2025. Not a hologram pig. Heck, if it gets insane and Charizard just keeps going up, we could be close to $30 a pack. I hope I don't see that day. I mean, not within a year. But if within a year it skyrockets that much, those Charizards I bought are going to be worth a house down payment. And me and my wife are going to sit pretty in our new four bedroom. That's right. I have end game goals here. But we went two for three out of that blister. Let me show off what we got here before we crack open the Mewtwo. A beautiful full art Blaziken. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Stack Attack of GX. And then a Lolan Ninetales GX. Look at that eye. Woo! All right. Here comes the big boy. We're going to crack open this Mewtwo. Interestingly enough, it was a Mewtwo pack that I pulled the Charizard from. Out of a Gary box, if any of you are curious. Is there something there? I can't tell. I don't really want to tell until I get to it. Pikachu. Adorable art. Ekans. Coffinga. Paras. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Eevee. That's nice. Hey, and a Hollow Jesse James. Okay. Not great. Not bad. And you know what I'm going to do, just because we didn't pull anything there and I really want to pull something, go get yourself a shiny Zard, y'all. Let's, uh, let's crack open the shiny Zard. Let's get lucky. Let's pull a baby shiny or something. All right, we got Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, a Reverse Energy... A non hollow Clefable. Wow. Well, I mean, shoot. Can't complain, but I can't be happy. All good, though. We did pull three beautiful cards today, and there's going to be more Hidden Fates coming in the next couple weeks. Don't worry. We'll open it. We'll, uh, we'll get some big full art GXs, I promise. Great Army, I hope you're having an awesome week. Keep going. Stay strong. The world's crazy, but just remember, one foot forward changes the world. I know you can do it. I'm trying to do it. I'm imperfect, but I love y'all. Y'all are doing great. No matter what anyone else says, you're doing great. I know it. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next vid. Stay strong. Love y'all, Grady Army. Bye.